I saw this truck advertised uh, in Texas uh, in the uh, old truck magazine and uh, called the guy about it because I wanted to restore an auto car. I finally went down there, picked it up. It was in really bad shape. Brought it home, tore it completely down to the frame and uh, started over with it, and redone it. and. Uh, it took us two and a half years to build a new engine for it. Parts can be a real problem. The biggest asset are other guys who have done the same model trucks and they've been all through it and they can help you with the parts, tell you where to find the parts. I ran those two windshields I borrowed for two years before I could find windshields. <laughs> then they were four inches too tall and I had to have them cut down because they just don't make this stuff anymore, you know, and so. But it, it's a real challenge finding parts. American Truck Historical Society has helped, uh, been a big help because there's 23,000 members in there and those guys all really like to help you, you know, and I, can, I call upon them a lot, you know, to get help. Two years ago we bought this old trailer, restored the old trailer. I had a lot of stuff at home, you know, uh, pictures and things I had collected when I was a kid. I decided somebody ought to see that stuff. So we uh, went to work on it, my wife and I, and uh, restored the pictures and uh, made the displays up and everything and put them all in there a couple years ago. And we've been pulling around the country ever since and it's been a real enjoyable time. Actually, this engine is not the original engine. This had a 200 horsepower Cummins engine in it when I bought it. And it ran, but uh, I wanted more horsepower to get down the road better. It has a, a uh, two transmissions. It has a five-speed main box, a three-speed auxiliary, each have an overdrive in them. Two sticks, you know, I like that. Uh, the old guys, we ran two sticks, you know. The old engine I took out is in the back of the uh, museum back there. I took it out, put it behind the garage, and gave it away a couple times. They never come picked it up, so I brought it in, restored it, and cleaned it up, put it back here. And this one here is a later model engine of the same model and uh, Cummins and uh, restored it. It was a very popular engine in the 60s. These are truck pictures we took when we were kids. Uh, these are real old. Uh, these are original I took when I was 14 years old and uh, I've had them restored and kept them, you know. And as, These are just some of the local truckers that uh, we worked with before as we grew up, you know. Uh, some of our guys that hauled out of Chicago and, and those big yards. Uh, I kept pictures of their trucks. Now I go to shows and they bring me pictures that uh, old drivers do that they took when they were young and I've incorporated them all into the, into the museum here, you know. And it, this is the auto car story. Uh, this is the truck when I bought it, the bad shape it was in. The belt buckles I've collected since I was a kid. You know, uh, truckers used to wear these all the time, you know, and they're many different kinds representing trucks cattle dealers all kinds of things you know everything to do with trucks my wife's an antique nut and uh, i used to go with her to antique shops and i saw these lard cans and i said hey i've been to those places you know so every time i see a lard can where i've delivered in the 30 years why well, i pick up their can i've bought and paid for 26 new trucks and uh you know, I've been in the business 39 years now, hauling cattle and uh, trucking business on my, on my own. I don't really get excited about new trucks. It's something about the old trucks that we grew up in and learned how to drive on. Uh, I think they have more character to them. The lines of them and things, you know, are a lot better. They don't all look the, they don't all look alike, you know, and uh, I don't know, just something about it.